Right, so this is going to be the donor, the amphibious thing. Suzuki Jimny, same as a um, Chevrolet Jimny, I believe. Um, yeah, solid axles, coil springs, um, transfer case, high and low range, radius arms on there, power steering, 1.3 litre twin cam engine. Um, yeah, so the plan is to use every part of the drivetrain running gear out of this wee beastie axles, steering, gearbox, everything, modify the transfer case and um, yeah put the whole lot into a, a sort of marine grade aluminium monocoque chassis hull type thing and hey presto we have an amphibious jeep that's the plan anyway um, whole thing's drawn up on CAD SolidWorks uh, I'm going to make it out of um, plywood as I mock it up, try and work out what I'm doing. Yeah, pretty daft project. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it might be a bit, uh, a bit boring to start with, but um, I'm sure it'll get interesting. Watch this space. Right, so this is the amphibious Suzuki Jeep prototype, drawn up in an old copy of SolidWorks um, this is the assembly all the different components lots and lots of measuring gone on um, as you can see you can you can look at all the different parts of it um, but yeah the plan the plan is this is this is all measured off of the Suzuki the plan is we're gonna cut this whole lot out with the CNC machine um, all out of marine grade aluminium the whole lot should more or less slot together um, we'll put it on a jig hold it all in the right place and then weld the whole lot up till it's all watertight let's say like a big monocoque chassis come hull um yeah and then strip down our little suzuki jeep and just bolt everything to it all the axles gearbox transfer case bolt the whole lot in there hey presto got an amphibious jeep hopefully looks a little bit like an old willis but i don't know we'll, we'll see but um the basic plan is to keep it comparatively simple and uh yeah See, see what happens. Let's get on with it. Right, so I've got a load of expensive plywood. Just uh, literally just about to start marking it with the CNC machine. Got a nice little sprung loaded ballpoint pen there. And mark it all out with the CNC and the pen. And then I'm gonna cut it all out with a jigsaw sod it all together, glue it all together use it as a sort of way of making a mock up of it without using the expensive sheets of aluminium and make all the mistakes with this nice cheap plywood
Um, this is the case half of the back of a Suzuki transfer case. Um, and what I've done, I've welded an additional shaft to the back of the uh, input shaft. Weld that on there, and then we've turned that down to one inch, um, which we're going to use to drive an electromagnetic clutch that's going to run the prop shaft on it. Um, I've basically just bored a hole in the back of the original case there, and then whatever I've done with it, and I've done with it now, and then I've got turned up a bit of aluminium with a 35mm hole in the middle it's going to go on there that's going to get TIG welded on there and then put an oil seal over it pressed in there to seal it so the oil doesn't leak out and I'm going to drill and tap the end mill a slot in there for the keyway to drive it just be a standard sort of uh, mower clutch I think we're going to use um, that way you can disengage and engage it just the flick of a switch um, and then uh, and then we're going to have to have some flanges turned up pressed onto the outputs be TIG welded on and then that way we can then put some rubber bellows on there the drive shafts onwards will all be on the wet side and get it all sandblasted up, cleaned up and what not yeah. As you can see, the um, wooden mock up of it's all coming along quite nicely. It's all, all in the solid works, all designed in solid works. Gradually getting everything, all the original Suzuki components, all fit in there clearance for all the brake boosters and steering box and stuff, all these bits have all got to fit in there nicely. I'm trying to work out where the rear prop shaft's going to go, clear everything, fit the seats and stuff. whole lot of silliness going on here really. Um, but um, it's coming along. <coughs> and gradually carry on with it until I'm happy with it all in wood make sure everything fits as good as I can get it before we start cutting up expensive aluminium um, this is a pretty, pretty damned ambitious project this we will see cut a couple of bits out of alley <coughs> with the old CNC a couple of the first bits cut out nicely cut pretty good really um, but um, yeah, there's a lot going on here. Whole lot of silliness. But we will see. Hopefully, it'll uh, hopefully it'll be in the water for the summer. That's the plan. Loads of little bits turned up. We've got the electromagnetic clutch here that uh, I'm going to modify with the back of the transfer case that we can the flip of a switch engage the prop prop we made the other day obviously um, got loads of little bits going to make a little um, a little sort of stern gland another little a little seal bearing whatnot into a piece of uh, piece of alloy tube I'll machine down in a minute uh, that's going to be able to sort of float on the drive shaft and then uh, a little silicon hose connecting to the back keep it watertight got a cutlass bearing as well which again we're going to machine up a little bit of tube in a minute um, that will support the prop shaft in the water end Just a bit of tube machined out, bearing, 
seal, we've left enough room, we're going to buy another seal, we're going to double them up, bosh them together, be bloody terrific. Lovely, 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 lovely. Get another one in there, I reckon. I'll have to order one out. But yeah, and then this, blue in there like that. And the other way around. That's a good 50 mil, isn't it? Fucking junk. Even remotely the right size. Jubilee clip round there, other bit on there welded into the hull, lovely, 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 there's our cutlass bearing, bits can get welded in, to bomb that Emerson uh, structural bonding seat flex, yeah, it's all coming together. Made a lift of the jig up on the legs now. Um, eventually, want to build this stupid thing. I'm gonna weld it all up. It make it easier to weld. Um, and then I shall, once it's fully welded, I'll uh, fill it with water and go around with a pen and mark all the leaks. Which will probably be hundreds. Empty it, re-weld it, check it again. Um, but uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's getting getting quite close now. I'm going to spend the afternoon finishing the wood mock-up of it. I think we'll try and get the rest of the wood on there. Maybe get a side on there. But yeah, we're getting close to the point where this is this is as far as I'm going to go with the wood. And then it'll be order a few expensive sheets of aluminium and. Uh, the old CNC fired up. Start building this stupid thing. It's craziness. Right, just getting the um, this electromagnetic clutch on there now. Um, just literally designed a little bracket and solid works. Put it out on the old uh, plasma table and. Um, that's going to basically bolt on there with those two holes. I'm going to fold it up in the old folder and then it will locate, hopefully. Hold the out a bit still and then uh, hopefully we've got a PTO that works. Just going to fold it up and see what happens. Right, a little tweak in the old folder. <coughs> And it doesn't quite fit. I need a little bit. It's close, but not quite there. So I think a little bit more, uh, a little bit more tweaking. Not a lot, but a little bit. But it's pretty bloody close. Pretty bloody close. So just turning up the stainless steel boss for the prop that we're going to make for this thing. A big old lump of stainless pouring it out, facing it off. We're going to cut a slot in it with a mill, the shape end. Weld the blades on it. Oh, that's a big drill.
that's the boss machined out for the prop, turn the centre out of it. Now is to mill a slot in the end of it for the pin to drive it. Then we're going to CNC out some uh, blades. The old CNC plasma. Make up a jig, weld them on there. Prop's done. Hopefully. So that's the slot milled for the pin drive, if you can see the stupid thing. Now it's time to burn out some blades, weld them on there. So this is the blades that we're going to cut out of some stainless for the uh, prop. Got a Mac 3 there, just going to burn it out with the old plasma. I've only got one bit of metal so Let's hope this works. Fingers crossed. Right then, so <clears throat> I found an old uh, lathe chuck there. Basically, just made up a little tiny uh, jig there to locate the blades in exactly the same place. Clamp it on there, weld it up, move around to the next one. Blah de blah de blah. The pair's done. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. See the old prop under there for water mode. But um, yeah. Show you from this end. Oh, crawling oh. around underneath. Silly thing. It's all spinny bit. Look, that <coughs> prop we made in. In the earlier videos, the contra left hand rotating. And we have a little cutlass bearing popped in there. And then we'll have a sort of stand glandy type thing to seal it. But uh, yes, yeah, all very, 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 very silly. So there you have it. Oh, cool. Uh, 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 uh. <coughs> so yeah, next step, and strip that lot off. That's going to get a nice, uh, a nice Viking burial. I drag it out in the yard and torch it. 
Don't want anybody uh, getting hold of that, going into the wrong hands, you know, industrial espionage and all that. And then, um, yeah, I'll say true the jig up. And then we're going to start cutting some of that very expensive marine grade aluminium on the CNC machine here. Which we've now got a nice uh, fume extraction. Yes. Yeah, start cutting the aluminium, getting it clamped on there and tacked up. Hopefully. Hopefully we'll end up with an amphibious Suzuki Jimny Jeep. Which will be bloody ripper. Yeah, keep watching. Might finish this one.